Subscribe to Boost Up Station if you haven't and today we are going to install Arclone Explorer or Arclone Browser for Android Mobile. For other operating systems, videos are given in the description. It is a graphical interface application for Android where you can play with all cloud drives that can be mounted using Arclone like Google Drive, OneDrive, Team Drive, Dropbox, P Cloud, Mega and many more are there. So you can download the data from multiple cloud drives to your Android mobile with resume support and every operation uses your internet. Steps are very clear. First of all, you have to get the arclone.conf file which can be created in any of the operating systems. Videos are given in the description if you don't know how to do that. Next, you have to download this particular application from this website, the first one. Below one is to download the Arclone when you are creating the arclone.con file. So let us download this file. I am moving to Android mobile now. And you can see that I have opened the first link that I have shown you. And if you scroll a little bit down, you will see in the assets you have some files. Now here you have to download the third file which says universal release which will work for all of the android versions and types so click on this universal release file the third one and start the download click on start i have already downloaded the file here it is now click on the file to install it select your package manager if you, it shows you such kind of option otherwise it will directly give you this install button so click on install now application is installed click on open now just it will give you the prompt to allow the access to manage all files so turn this option on now go back now the archon explorer can access all of your files if you don't want to contribute error reports turn this option off and click on done now before proceeding further let me show you one thing let's say if it doesn't prompt you for that internal storage access like all files access then what you have to do is go to your applications in the home drawer whatever you say it hold your finger on that and click on this middle icon which says app information and scroll down you go to permissions and here you can see that the files and media permission is denied so click on it and click on allow management of all files now go back and go back that is it the permissions are set now we can open this arclone explorer so you can even see hidden remotes here so click on this sandwich bar on the top left corner and here you see this option import arclone config click on this option and it is saying that it will replace the current configuration like if you have imported any of the configurations before those will be removed from this arclone explorer and new one will be added when you click on continue button so now it will give you an option to select the arclone configuration file here is my arclone conf file i have located it in the internal storage so click on the file and you can see it directly gives you all of the cloud drives that you have configured inside the arclone so now i want to browse this td1 drive and you can see that it perfectly gives you all of the files and folders inside this team drive that i have created you can go to any file or folder whichever you want and you also have the option to sort like sort by size from small to big click on ok now the smallest size files will come on the top 
and I am going to select a couple of files that I want to download into my Android mobile. So I am selecting these seven files and then click on download. Now it will give you option to save the download like whichever place you want to download these files to you can select these options. So I am going to save in this folder only Arclone Explorer. I am going to create a folder here. Test and click on OK. Now inside this folder I want to save. Now click on this tick mark in the bottom right corner. And you can see on the top the files are getting downloaded. Right. The speed is also coming on the status bar of my Android mobile. Let us go to the Android folder now to see if the files are getting downloaded or not. Just wait for a few seconds. These will be downloaded. And until these are downloaded, let me show you the settings of this application. In the general, you have language also. You can choose the language. Only two languages are there. You can use proxies if you want. File access. It is almost already given. Now if you want to save inside the external SD cards. Like memory cards you have attached to your Android mobile. Then you have to turn this first option on. And then click on add storage. And now you can browse to your external SD card and click on use this folder and click on allow. And that particular storage will be added. Now you can go back. Look and feel you can change it to dark theme if you want. That looks great. Notifications. And that is it. This is logging to report the errors. Go back. And now let us see what is happening right here. So I want to check if it has downloaded or not. All those files. Refresh and you can see one file got downloaded. Now I want to go to that folder again because we tried to download seven files. I think there is a problem in that particular team drive. Let us go to another remote. Like I want to go into the mega. Wait for a few seconds to load the files. And here we have some of the files. So let's say I want to download this complete folder, the last one, UDEM. Either you can select the folder, click on download button or what you can do is click on these three dots in front of the folder name and click on download. Now select the download location and I want to download inside this folder. Click on this tick mark. Let us go to the folder. And in a few seconds, the folder will be created. First, it is going to count the files and you can see UDEM folder is created and here are the files getting downloaded. So this way you can download the files and folders from our clone browser in the Android mobile. And it works for all of the remotes that you have mounted inside the Arclone configuration. And on the top, you can see the speed. The speed also depends upon the size of files that you are downloading. And also on your internet speed. And there is one more option. You can upload files to the cloud drives from your Android mobile. So by clicking on this plus button, wherever you want to upload the files, you can click on upload files button here. And now you can go to the folder where you want to 
upload the files from and let's say I want to upload this rclone con file and this test folder also so click on this test folder tick mark this option and tick mark any of the files which you want to upload and then click on this tick mark button now the files will be uploaded here here are the files that we have just uploaded you can see and there's an option to sync also like you want to sync from locally to the remote from the android mobile to the cloud drives or cloud drives to the android mobile that option is also there so let's say i want to sync from the cloud drive to the internal storage or the external storage of android mobile then first of all you have to go to that particular folder where you want to sync the files from let us say i am going to the test folder let me first of all move these files into test folder click on move open the test folder let it load and click on select and now these files are going to be moved moving service is running and both these files are moved let us refresh by just bringing your thumb down let us go back and open the test folder again you can see that no files are there those two files and in the test folder we have those files so now if you want to sync click on these three dots click on sync and i want to sync to the android mobile click on second option select the download location like this time i want to go to the alarms folder now click on this tick mark and the files are going to be synced now it is syncing the test folder let me go to that alarms folder and here you can see this file this one both are getting downloaded or you can say synced here we have all these five files and more are coming perfect so it means that the files are getting synced and they have perfectly synced it means that all the files which are already present inside this location will not be downloaded and others will be downloaded so it's a great application you must use it finally we can say that in this way you can download or upload files and folders into our clone remotes using any android mobile and please subscribe to boost up station that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more